what percentage of, and you sort of hinted this earlier, but I really want to drill into it a little bit more, but what percentage of Muslims or, or Islam people are what you would call anything other than peaceful, loving, kind, generous people? Uh, in other words, you know, that they're, they're uh, potentially violent, they feel like some of these, these things that we're talking about are, are appropriate, that kind of, what, what percentage of, of uh, the world of, of Islam would you say falls into that category? I think it's very high, and then uh, the proof of it, there's how many Muslims here in America? There is, uh, I think about almost four million Muslims, and every once in a while you'll see such a thing that happens, whether you know, last time it was in uh, Ohio University. So if every Muslim was a bad person, can you imagine the violence that could occur and happen in the United States? Well, we have so many mosques here, so many communities are we try to promote peace and love and unity. And there's a high percentage of Muslims are trying to connect with the Christians or the Americans. But sometimes, like, that fear, it's not only you have that fear, we also have that fear as well. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and I think that communication and, and breaking gaps between uh, Christians and Muslims, American Muslims, and get together and we learn from each other, I think that will solve a lot of problems, in my opinion. Well, based on some of the research that I've done, it seems like it's, it's, it's accurate to say that there is somewhere in the range of about uh, 82% of Islam or of Muslims that are nonviolent, that that are peaceful people, but that leaves you know an 18% that is that is threatening. And I think the truth is is that is what we're talking about. That that's the that's the reason why it's threatening. And and if we could contrast this for a minute, you know there there is no openly Christian group that is you know going around saying that you know somebody needs to die because they are homosexual or, or they need to die just because they don't believe in Jesus. It's just unheard of. And I think that's the reason why it's so scary to look at Islamic people coming to America because we, we have this percentage that is, that is a threat. I think those, that percentage is not only a threat to the Americans, but also a threat to a lot of Muslims as well. And that's why we are running away from these people coming to here in the United States. Yeah, that percentage is, you know, we fear these people. That's why our country are being destroyed. You know, it's because by those radical Muslims, are, are, whether in Iraq or Syria or Yemen, these people are being promoted and by, you know, being supported and given, and given money by a lot of politic reasons. Mm -hmm. You know, and you can bring any terrorist group or, you know, or people who have this ideology and promote them and give them whatever they need, they can go there and, you know, they can speak in the name of Christianity, they can speak in the name of Jesus, even though they don't represent Jesus, Prophet mm -hmm. Jesus, peace up on him, or Christianity. The same thing, these people over there, they've been promoted, they've been given money, they've been given a politics, you know, uh, places, so that way they cannot think, in my opinion, to destroy Islam and to destroy Muslims. Yeah, and I, I hear you, uh, but, it, but I just want to get back to the point of saying, like, look, we know that based on the research that I did, that maybe as many as 18% of Muslims are violent or, or could be considered terrorists or something. And if you bring 100 people or 200 people or 1,000 or 100,000 or whatever people into the country, is it possible that, uh, you know, 18% or maybe it's something less than that are these violent type? And if it is, then what do we do about that? How do we respond to that? And even more so, how do we get comfortable as a community living together knowing that? I think that you being, I mean, I'm putting myself on your shoot as well. I'm as, as a Muslim, I mean, as a Muslim person, I mean, I can't, as well, I can't, I can't think every Muslim person are going to be friend with me or being safe. A lot of people, a lot of Muslims look at me as a, you know, or look at some of the sectors of Islam, uh, you know, they are not in the right path because they don't believe what they believe. You know, yeah, of course, you're afraid, I am afraid as well, you know, that's why we're here, you know, some groups, they target themselves. But the thing is, you know, how can we, like, what we do is, what I do myself to connect with these people is to know them. Mm -hmm. And also, I sit with them and then we, you know, we sit, we, in a dialogue, we debate, okay, look, 
Islam is not what you think it is. Even though you're a Muslim, but I try to change their beliefs mm -hmm. or try to change their ideology or their ideas about certain things. But the thing is, I don't keep myself gap. And then I think opening community and then, you know, bring them to my, you know, to my place, to my mosque. Look, this is what I'm learning about Islam. Yeah. Maybe, maybe what you're learning is not the right thing. And some people, like I said, some people are taught to, to, to kill. They're taught to hate. And, and that's, that's so wrong. But the thing is, what can we do? We can't we can just let these people isolate it and then, you know, say, okay, well, there's nothing we can do. No, we can educate them. That's at least I could do, you know, I, like that's how I do it. I educate them about Islam. Yeah, and I think one of, the, one of the problems with that that I see is that when you look at the, the nature of how people migrate to America, they still tend to sort of bring a pretty significant bit of their culture with them. And a lot of times, a lot of the different uh, nationalities or groups will, uh, will sort of stick together and they'll be very inclusive, um, or I should say exclusive. Like for example, you know, almost every major city in the country has Chinatown. The reason I bring that up is if, if you're saying that part of the solution is that we have to get to know the people, uh, that's going to be very difficult. That's, to me, that isn't a workable solution unless it was the Muslims like you who, are, who say, hey, I'm, I believe in peace, I believe that we, we ought to be able to work together and live together and, and, and that we all should carry the same value for America that regardless of what our skin or language or, or color or whatever, uh, then you have to take the responsibility to ferret those people out and you have to be willing to stand up for America and say, at, at some point, say there is some unsafe people in our community that I know about and and we have to have a path for you to be able to to uh, you know bring that information to light. Do you agree? Yeah, I totally. I mean, I agree with you because we even in our mosque right now, we always every once in a while we have a, a open house and we try to invite the community or we do we send an invitation to a lot of churches and you know people just like yourself ask us so many questions about okay what Islam is, what do you guys think about the peace, and are you guys going to harm us? You know, are you guys going to do bad things to us? And then we always try to say, look, you know, we have people here who served in the U.S. military, who tried to protect this country, you know. And I totally, you know, a lot of people think like, okay, if you know a terrorist in your group, you know, or someone who is radical, can you tell about it? Definitely, absolutely. If there is such a person in my community or I know they have an ideology of, uh, you know, supporting ISIS or he's against the values of America, I'm the first one to stand against him. I'm willing to sacrifice my life against such a thought like that. Because we taught here, whether it's in Islam we taught to love, or this country as well taught us to love one another. So if I can convince our church leadership, which is a, a Christian church, yes. to invite all the members of your mosque Definitely. to come to our church, will they come? I think that would be a great idea. They will be coming to you there. And then actually we are working right now on that to, get, to invite you guys to come to our mosque. We, we, will have a, we are inviting a few churches and we're going to have an open house soon and we're trying to schedule the time and we're going to send you guys an invitation, you know. Well, we, I, I think those kinds of things would definitely break down. Oh, definitely, you know. Walls.